Good afternoon. It is Thursday, February 9th, 2023, and we'd like to call the regular meeting of the Harlan Municipal Utilities Board of Trustees to order. Need an approval of the agenda. I move to approve the, uh, the agenda. I'll second. Roll call. Shelton I. Ms. Shelton I. Terrell I. Hammer I. And item three is the approval of the consent agenda, which includes the minutes of the January 26th board meeting, the abstract of claims number 1229 in the amount of $736,539. And the upcoming board meetings, February 23rd, will be a regular board meeting and March 9th, an electronic board meeting. So moved. A second. Roll call. Shelton I. Michelle I. Terrell I. Uh, MRI. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Item number four is the fiscal year 2023-2024 budget. Yeah, we did uh, review that with the finance committee. Um, the actual document is down there with Nella if you want to grab that. Uh, it's a letter. Oh, they all have a copy. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay, gotcha. I just gave you one to sign. Okay. But they all have a copy. So, uh, Jim, if you're on that committee. Is there anything you'd like to share? Uh, so, just what was in the letter is uh, uh, we went over the FY23 24 budget and the CapEx plan. Uh, gas uh, and electric are in great standing. The water is trending immensely positive, and the telecommunications uh, needs. Uh, close scrutiny um, and there were three courses of action that were laid out there to kind of bring it up into being a, a, a fiduciarily uh, growing uh, or entity within the uh, utility but uh, the budget is sufficient and it is uh, it supports the utility and it supports the both the community and the potential for growth within the community okay. anyone have any questions yeah, I just need a motion to receive and file the 2023-24 budget. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Roll call. Shelton I. Michelle I. Terrell I. Hammer I. Okay, item number five is approval of the bid for the trench repairs in the truck bay. Yeah, that, um, it's the existing trench drain out there, and I know there were some I believe there's some cracks that would have always kind of been there along that trench drain. Um, last time we tried or pulled the grates to clean that drain out, get the sediment out of it, um, just kind of aggravated, I guess. And we had some issues there where a lot of that concrete started spalling away from us or away from it. So went back and got a couple quotes as far as to come in and do repairs, um, kind of replace the angle irons, the angle iron along the edge of that. Uh, but still utilize the existing grates to try to keep costs back down on that for as far as the repair. Okay. You got two local bids, it appears. Mm-hmm. And the Baxter contracting bid came in at eighteen thousand one thirty five and the Patriots Choice in the amount of fourteen thousand four eighty six. Um, did you have a any reason to not go with a low bid? I have concerns. I know we've done we've done work. We've had several projects with Baxter, um, Patriots Choice. I think the they had completed some patchwork for us this fall. I think that was the first project we worked with them on. But that's pretty much. I mean, as far as my, the contact that we've had with them with HMU. Just because it's a lower bid doesn't mean it's going to be or could be the best work. I haven't seen any references from. Um, Patriots. I've seen work done by Baxter's, as as and Jacobs, the sidewalks that concerned the hospital. Um, Patriots, I haven't seen any positivity in that. So I'm more on the higher bid than I would be on the lower bid. Unless I got references. And more than just one job here. Joe, did you have anything to add to that? I mean, that's something definitely we could do. We could try to pull references on them. I mean, that's been done in, before. I mean, I'm, I 
might. I guess if, we're, if we're not going to consider someone's bid, why did we, why did we put it out to them for bid? I mean, that's when you generally, in, when you ask someone to do a bid, it's a good faith bid that if they are the low bid, they would have an opportunity at it. So if we're simply saying now that well, we don't have adequate references to utilize them, then why did we ask them for a bid? Yeah, basically the reason we chose those two, local and, I don't, you know, as far as local contractors in town that could do that type of work. Yeah, I don't the think there was um, concerns about the quality of the work until we got, until we got calls. Okay. Until there was, a, it was brought up. It so was. It was a good faith bid. We didn't know about any workmanship issues until it was brought up. Okay, so... All right. yeah. So I think we have to be careful that we have not gone out and had quality as part of our bid consideration, right? So we, we are either going to have to rescind the bid and go back out and, and have quality or references as a consideration in the decision making, or we go with what we have right now, which is a bid, a good faith bid, or bids that were not quality considered. And then we come back and it's not done right, so then we get enough, then we have to spend another $6,000. Okay, before we go into that direction, that can happen with any contractor on any job. Correct. So I, I think as long as the performance, uh, the performance standards are established in the bid and that, it's either that or you it, there's an expense to bidding mm -hmm. and if you're going to put it out there for a bid and ask someone to bid something and then not consider them i don't consider that to be that that's that's not the right way to do things so if we're not going to consider this bid then i think we need to reestablish what our expectations or requirements are and ask them to rebid it um because they did what we asked them to do. Right. They came in low, and if we don't offer them the bid, I, I don't, I don't, personally, I don't think that's right. So did we ask them to come in low? Like you just said, so we asked them to come in low. So did you ask Patriots to come in low, or you're just saying they came in low? They came in as a low bid. We don't tell anybody okay. what the bid is going to be or what the expectation is. The expectation is they complete the job as described in the in the uh, request for quote, and when they come in as the lower bidder, they would expect to get that job unless there was something about their quote that was different than the others. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. It's, I don't have a I don't have a horse in this race. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't care one way or another. But if I was a bidder and I put my time and effort into it, and I was the low bid and I wasn't awarded it because of something somebody that may have said that. I, and I'm not here to defend myself. I don't feel that that's the right way to do business. And I certainly wouldn't expect to ever get a bid from them again. So and, let's take that under consideration. And on that price, too, there is the, the new angle iron that we're putting in place. Um, HMU is purchasing that separately. That's about a $2,000 item. You know, so that would be added back on top of that, just so you're familiar, or just so you're aware of that. So the total project would be whatever the bid is and two thousand dollars on top of that. that. But the two thousand dollars is <coughs> uh, customer provided. Not Correct. Okay. Got Correct. It. That was the angle iron that we're going to supply because mm -hmm. we wanted to go with stainless steel. Right. I think part of that issue was is we were starting to get those two were. I mean, getting some rust in there just through the salt and everything between the grate and the angle iron that's out there. So we decided to try to go with stainless and okay. try to leave some of that problem. That affects both of them equally. It's Correct, like, equally, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how it was called out in the quotation is that they had put this stainless steel angle, angle iron in, but that would be provided by HMU. So there was no quality delineation in the bid request, and was there a time delineation That's how, that in the bid point. request? Correct. The time delineation was is to get started on it next week, the 13th. And both of them? Yes, both of them were aware that it was written in under the items that they had to consider in that quotation. Uh, we called out 
concrete mix we call out rebar. Yeah, I think you guys got the bids in your packets that says starting February 13th and completion by March 13th. Okay. And what is the what is the difference in this? And I only put the first page of each bid in your packets. The email version you guys got for full bids, but I always just right. The only you know. page that's missing there is pretty much with the signature page. Basically, the page that's included in the packet it does show the items that they were to follow as part of the quotation process. I mean, we're, we'll get down to splitting hairs if we try to get into this much more. I think we're just, we have the facts in front of us. Um, we just put it to a vote. I don't know if needs to agree. I would entertain a motion based on that. Do you have a motion to accept which bid? Yeah, I guess that. Well, I think is that how we should do it? Is we vote on each bid? No, just you have to just vote on which bid you would like to accept. Okay. Yeah. So I move to accept the lowest bid, uh, the fourteen thousand four hundred eighty-six dollars and seventy-three cents. And do we have a second? I'll second them. Roll call. Uh, Shelton I. Michelle no. Terrell I. Hammer I. Motion carried. Item number six, CO's report. Oh, I don't have a whole lot. Um, today there was a uh, group of IJAG students that came down for a tour of the facilities. Um, so that was completed today. Um, just going to give an update. We interviewed a staff accountant applicant yesterday for that position. And also I've started on interviews for the cashier applicants this week. Um, looks like we have everything as far as we know everything to the USDA that's required of HMU. Uh, McClure is finishing up some of their responses to the USDA comments for that water project. So we're hoping to have some plans to review here next week that we can review so we can keep that process going to get that project out to bid. And then I uh, did mention we were waiting for an additional check or that that check was in the mail uh, for the uh, plant water plant litigation. We did receive that check in the amount of 150000 uh, Total settlement that we got for that project in was $700,000. And that is it. Or that's all I have as far as my report. Right. Anything else? Not a record, but a very short meeting. Thank you, everyone. We are adjourned.